going on guys, Noob the Pro here and I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use MSI Afterburner to monitor your in-game hardware usage. Uh, I'm going to try and do this in one go, so bear with me. <laughs> um, so the first thing is go MSI Afterburner, type in Google, search in Google. Come to this one, msi.com slash page slash afterburner. Click it. Um, scroll down past all this. We're going to try and get that. So we'll scroll down past all this. And you want to come to this one. You want to download this one. So just click download or download whatever. I've already done it as you can see here. Click open when it's done. So I'll come up with this folder. Double click the MSI afterburner. Set up AXE. Yes. Um, English. Next, I accept, next. Um, make sure you select both of these. Make sure you select both of these. Then go next. And I'm gonna cancel it here because I've already done it, but you'll go through this one and another one will come up for River Tuna. And um, yeah, just follow them, basically. So we'll cancel that. Once you've uh, installed it, you wanna open up Afterburner, which is this. You'll come to this. What you wanna do here is go to settings. Then you'll go to uh, monitoring and anything you want to monitor like GPU temperature, GPU usage, memory usage, core clock, memory clock, CPU temperature, usage, one, two, three, four, and full usage and RAM usage is what I usually use. So whichever ones you want, you click on it and then to get it to say in OSD, you just let it go on. Simply click show in on screen display, it's back, apply, OK. So just do that for every single one you want. See how they're all OSD, OSD, OSD. All you have to do is click it. So uh, this should be off here, but to click it on. It'll come up here, um, apply, OK. Once you've done that, you want to come down to here and go to River Tuna Statistics Server, blah, blah, blah. Click that, it'll bring up this. On this, you want to go, have make sure you have show on screen display on. Um, you, you can leave this alone. I don't really know what this does. To be honest, I haven't really mucked around with it. Um, so the next thing is on screen display support on. On screen display rendering mode just, just changes how it looks. If you want it 3D, 2D, vector or raster. Doesn't really matter. Um, on the on screen display shadow doesn't really matter either. I've got it on. Show own statistics. This is what you need as well. On. So make sure you have show on screen display on, on screen display support on, and show own statistics on. Once you've got all those on, you can minimize this. Um, make sure you keep uh, both River Tuner, it'll come down here, and MSI open, and then go to the game you want to start. So we'll, we'll start up PUBG, and we'll, uh, we got to give old PUBG a few minutes to start. She's a bit of a stubborn one, I must admit. There we go. And there you go. You now have the GPU, uh, temperature, usage, core clock, um, memory usage, and memory clock, the CPU, CPU 1, 2, 3, 4, RAM usage, and your FPS. Um, and now this will just stay up the whole time, you can start the game, and you can use this to mo more accurately monitor your hardware usage while you're in a game, so that you know that your hardware isn't playing up, and it's actually the game.
there we go, we're in the game now. And as you can see, it's monitoring my hardware usage as I play.